Welcome back to the series where I build random things in under 10 minutes that I wouldn't bother filming. And yet I did, and you guys seem to love. Three ways to keep your workshop just a little bit more organised so you can be more like me. Organise. It's a process. Follow along. Three things to keep it simple, stupid. This is my sanding station. I keep my sanding papers in here, I've got my sander there. But one thing that I do struggle with, because I've got shaky hands, is putting this on. And I saw this thing on TikTok and I thought, what a good idea. It's probably pointless, but I'm gonna try it. Now, I am a child. Yes, I do browse TikTok, sue me. But I thought this was a good little quality of life upgrade, not necessarily for storage, but just for making your life a bit easier. All I'm doing is marking out four of the holes on the sanding disc. You don't need to do them all. Once I've got those marks on there, then I come back with a six mil drill bit. I'm using a six mil drill bit because I've got six mil dowels. You won't be able to go much bigger than that because of the size of the holes in the sandpaper. Now I'd like to say I was just making shallow holes, but there was one where I uh, just blew through the other side, but that's not gonna matter. This thing was built from scrap anyway. Once the holes are all there, then I come back through with a little bit of super glue or CA glue, squeeze a little bit into the hole and let a load dribble down that I won't bother cleaning up. Then it's as simple as spraying some activator on the dowels before you put them in. Now I'm using dowels that I cut and sanded myself, but you can buy packs of dowels, they're just, I'm cheap. I buy the lengths and then cut them myself. Let's see if it works. So you put your sandpaper on like that, you get your sander, go like that and it's on perfectly aligned I mean it's a bit gimmicky but for somebody with shaky hands like me easy five minutes okay next on my list somewhere to put these I built some drawers in my last video but I don't want things just rattling around in there I want each drawer to have a purpose so I want to store my screwdrivers including this one I've had this screwdriver as long as I've had my puppy She's not a puppy now, she's 12. Sentimental value though. I'm just gonna use these two scrap pieces of wood. So all I did was use my ruler or straight edge if you like to mark a line and then I'm just marking every 30 mil along that line, which is just over an inch if you don't work in mil. I've loaded a 10 mil drill bit this time and I'm just drilling through all of those little marks that I made. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't even have to be straight, but I've got a little sacrificial block underneath it because I'm fed up of drilling through my workbench. Because this isn't going to be attached in any kind of fancy way, I'm just pre-drilling some holes ready for the screws to go into. Then I'm going to attach it to that block of wood that's next to it. Now because this doesn't have to hold anything heavy and it's only very small, I'm not overthinking this, just a quick bit of glue on one part and then I'm just going to screw the top, the kind of shelf if you like, to the back. Now the only reason I'm putting a back on is not for any kind of support, it's to make it easier to attach to a wall. And to do that, I'm just using screws. Just two screws is all I'm going to use and I'm just pre-drilling so I don't tear the wood when I put the screws through. Now I've got a French cleat wall. This is a little small to hang on cleats. You won't get much benefit. I've got this spare space here. I'm just going to screw that to the wall. Easy, five minutes. This tip is for these. Now, I am a sucker for not wearing gloves when I'm using stains and I regret it for the week that comes afterwards. So, these boxes all seem to come in the same size, so I thought, why not have a place to store them so they don't get beat up like this? Soft, strong and sensitive, just like me. Now I'm not going to bore you with all the dimensions and the cuts I made, it's fairly self-explanatory. Everything is measured to the width and the depth of the box. The back panel that the box is going to sit on is obviously a little bit wider to accommodate these side pieces here. I'm using just old lengths of pallet wood and then a couple little stock pieces that I've got just 10 mil square. Everything's just held together with glue and brad nails. Remember, keep it simple stupid. I need a better nailer. With the box sitting snugly in the back and 
bottom top frame pieces I literally just put a dab of glue on and then I'm going to use those 10 mil stock pieces and just nail those to the front now the reason I'm only using these kind of stock lengths is I still want to be able to get to the hole where the gloves come out but then I can hang this on the wall it'll all be nice and snug and I could just take out gloves when I need them and I won't ever lose them again because they will be attached to the wall and that is one thing I'm learning I built drawers in the last episode drawers are great but when something can be seen you know where to find it so finally to attach it to the wall you just need to pre-drill some holes ready for your screws to go through and then you can just put this wherever now I can screw this to the wall and the box will just slide in and out apart from the fact that I put glue on the bottom so it's a bit sticky look a glove less than 10 minutes you can go back in there I haven't got a project to finish my current one's a failure so that's it three really quick projects under 20 minutes for all three now you might not want to do these exact things but I've had a lot of comments from people saying, oh, that's given me an idea on how I can use it for this. So if you've got anything out of this video, please like, subscribe, comment. I love reading the comments and I will get back to all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.